I don't want to be just a crazy back. Let me take a look styling and profiling. Today we're looking at the Red Fox V2.0, technically, by Kelly Tenhog and Red Fox Playing Cards. So let's check this one out. Alright, so these are the second edition Red Fox Playing Cards by Kelly Ten Hov and designed by his wife Ricky. They're pretty nice to come with the glasses again. The Red Fox logo on them. Redfoxplaincards.com, go check it out. And well tech case looks like that. It's got some nice artwork on there with the, the foxes. The Red Fox, it is their patented fox box as they call it with a wraparound artwork. And you can actually put together a whole bunch of them for an even bigger picture, says Red Fox. Red Fox Playing Guards version 2.0. Poker on top. Or add copy on the bond there, printed on USB C. In the back, you yeah, had a nice pip. Very nice artwork. Did you know that it actually says has secret messages on the tuckers? Now, there's none here that I can see. But on this side, it actually says, many thanks. See if you can see that, many thanks, let me know. <laughs> um, of course, the purpose of these glasses is for his patented, well, maybe it's not patented, but his idea, his marking system that allows you to use these glasses to read them. And I do find that the markings on this deck are a lot easier to see with the glasses and even without, I was able to see them. Standard seal. RedFoxPlayingCards.com There's a 5 of spades reveal here as well. You get a nice little double backer. You really get an extra King of Diamonds with this dude on it, which is Richard Bellers, who of course was on Pentel Foolish. A Ten of Hearts reveal, really cool that they got him. And a Jokers actually have secret messages on them as well. So let me put my glasses on. <laughs> uh, this one of course says Jockey Corner. It also says swim away. <laughs> and the other one says too late with Joker. So that's really cool that they did that. And the Ace of Spades looks like that. Very nice. Lots of colors to them. Everything is hand drawn on the faces and the backs, obviously. These have been designed, of course, with pretty much everyone in mind. Cardists, collectors, magicians, usable for everything. That's cool. Nice redesigned court cards and other cards, of course. So there's the Ace of Spades. Very nice. And then, of course, there's the other notable court card that was in the last deck, which is Chris Ramsey. I don't think it says anything on the court cards. <laughs> nice custom pips, nice custom artwork. I'm not sure who everyone is, again. I feel like... Maybe that's Kelly, I'm not 100% sure. Wouldn't surprise me. And there is the other Bellers card without a card reveal. That's a nice little gaff. A number of cards, nice custom pips. And that is that. Now, like I said, they are marked. Let's see if I can read them without the glasses. <laughs> this is a eight of clubs, I believe. Oh, nine of clubs, that was close. This is an eight of hearts. I'm just gonna say eight five. Oh God, I was close to clubs. That, <laughs> trying to read them. Uh, is this a diamond? Eight of diamonds? Yeah. Anyways, it's, pretty nice and I can see the markings pretty clearly with the glasses. The whole idea of the glasses is not for you to perform wearing the glasses. Although I have did think of a little 
you know, magic idea where you have a spectator put on glasses, they can look at the cards, they probably won't notice anything, and then you put the glasses on and you tell them what the card is. I don't know if that would work, but it's an interesting thought. Anyways, I opened my USB-C with a modern cut. Usually you hear about traditional cuts. It's the first time I've seen somebody say it's a modern cut, which is a non-traditional cut, obviously. And it was finished. Nice stock. I like it. 100%. I'll say A+. Plus. And again, special shout out to Kelly for coming and hand delivering this to me at the door. Well, putting it in the mailbox, you know, COVID friendly, but <laughs> that is that. Uh, check them out at redfoxpointcards.com and comment, subscribe, and what you think. We'll see you next time. More thanks for watching.